there, it's Melody with Usborne Book Barn. I'm going to show you a very quick Canva overview. So Canva.com is a great place to make free graphics. Um, they do have um, some paid designs, but they're only a dollar, so it's not too terrible. So you go to Canva.com up here, and then this pops up. Down here, these are all the designs I've already done, so yours will look different. So up here it says create a design, social media, and all this stuff. If you want to check out what else they can do, click more. You can make YouTube channel art, lots of other things. So more is a good place to check out. I want to do just a, a social media post, something that's going to go on my Facebook page. So I click that. And my computer is running very slow today. I do apologize. So um, with us born, it's really, really important that you follow the branding guide. So we have a link to that on our training site, usborndreamteam.com, and then click on training, and then there's a little thing that pops up that'll say making videos and graphics. Click on that, and you'll be able to scroll and find the branding guide. It's also available in Usborn's back office. Go to your back office page. Then click Consultant Toolbox, which is a purple file folder in the top right if you're on your desktop. And then you will see um, on the left sidebar a place to click on Branding Materials and then Branding Guide to get all that. <laughs> all right, so let me show you how to use Canva. Okay, so here we are. And you can search if you wanted to search for something. You could put here, you know, Summer, um, whatever you wanted to search. Like, say I wanted, okay, Summer. It's summertime. So um, different things will pop up. It's thinking. It's there we go. So these are different things. And you can see right here where it says a dollar. It costs a dollar. Um, so you have sometimes just some graphics, um, like some writing. So you can scroll here if you're looking for something in particular. Okay, we're gonna just make something from scratch. So let's do background. Okay, these are fun. If you wanted to, and so here's a, here's like our blank, you know, canvas. If you wanted to um, make a different color, you could do that. Um, if you wanted to use the Usborne colors, um, you can get the hex number, which is listed again on our training site. Um, in the in the place where it talks about making graphics and videos, you'll find that color code number. You can copy and paste it right here and it'll come up, which is really great. So you know you're going by the branding guide. Um, so there's that. Let's do this one. It's free. So look, it just came up right here. Easy peasy. Okay. Now we're going to add some text. T for text. So here, here are different ones that you can play with. You just click, and they'll come up. And then you can change um, what the words say. Okay, I like I like these sometimes because it, it kind of does the design for you and you just change the words, you just click on it. Seriously, super slow computer today. Could be I have that a ton of windows up, who knows. So you can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to take that off though and delete that. So, you, so just play around. This is best when you have, you know, a good 30 minutes, maybe late at night, you're in bed, take the computer with you and just have fun. Play around. That's how you learn, you know, with videos, with the graphics. You learn by doing it. So, as with anything, right? Um, so, let's do as born. Okay. Now, I'm going to change this. And we're going by the branding guide. We want to use a, you know, branding approved font. So, chicken script is one. Okay. I want to make it bigger. It's too small. Go down here, I'm going to play around. All right, so then I want to, ooh, no, I don't want to right now. Okay, so I'm going to just click and drag. You can see a little line pops up that says it's centered. Awesome. If you want to change the color, click on this little color wheel. And then, you can, again, you can, um, you can copy and paste a hex number, or you can just, you know, find one. For purposes right now, I'm just going to do that. Okay, like Usborne, pretty cool. Now I want to um, put one of our design elements. Um, so I'll show you real quick. Um, let's see. This is our Dream Team site. So we have these elements, right? So you can click on it, right click, save image as. 
And then it's really great if you have an Usborne folder in your pictures, you know, somewhere, just if, if you're starting brand new, it's the best time to make your folders and start organized. Okay, so um, desktop, okay, can I can put it here or wherever, okay? So I'm just gonna save it somewhere and start organized. Okay, I'm gonna cancel because I already have it saved. Okay, so to get any of these, you just click on it and then right click save as, or not save link, save image as, okay? Easy peasy, let's go back to Canva. Okay, so we're at Usborne. So I'm gonna go to Uploads. Okay, so I've saved it somewhere, so I'm gonna put Upload My Own Images. And then I'm gonna go find it, okay, and click on it. And it's gonna upload. I already have it. So let's scroll down. Okay, here it is. All right, look, there it is. How cool is that, right? So I can bring this down. I can go up here. I can, you know, turn it different ways. Where's that thing? Okay, I can turn it different ways with my slow computer. Don't lock up, don't lock up, don't lock up. Okay, cancel. I thought I wanted to crop it because I double clicked. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I can move it around. Now, if I want another one, I can go down here and it says copy. How easy is that, right? I love Canva. Pick Monkey is another one. I like them both for different reasons. Um, okay, so yeah, us born, pretty cool. Okay, and then let's see, we'll just make this a little bigger. Okay, great, us born. Okay, make it centered, awesome. Now say I wanna add some books. I'm gonna save and upload the little book stack. Cool. Okay, so we'll make them smaller. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. As born. Nice small. Okay. Right there. All right. And then I want to do um, another text. I'm going to add a smaller one. Um, As born is the bomb dot. Okay, I'm obviously not really going to use this, um, just showing you. Okay, we want it again to be in a, um, a font that is approved, nice branding font, and I think Aleo works. Okay, good. So we got that, so it changes it. Everything is good. Following the branding guide is the best thing. So usbornisthebomb.com. This is not going to win any awards. All right, now, um, if you are going to use this um, in social media on your Facebook business page, you always want to put the correct logo so that when somebody sees it, they don't think that the Usborne Books and More official home office made this graphic um, because theirs are probably going to look better than ours, right? Because they have like someone who's paid to do this and they have lots of great stuff and, you know, probably have a degree in it. So ours, you know, ours are going to look kind of like this. At least mine are. You might be really awesome at it. Um, so they do want to differentiate between something that an independent consultant makes and something that home office makes, right? Because that's the right thing to do. So um, I'm, I have the font, I believe. Um, if I don't, I need to have it uploaded. And when you upload something into Canva, it stays here, which is pretty cool. So let's, let's upload it. Um, so you're going to go back to our training site. And I have on here, it talks about how to use the logo, when to use it. If you're making something for social media, which most of us will be doing, this is the one that you're going to want to use. It says independent consultant. That's why I have it up here um, set aside. So I'm going to right click, save image as. Okay. And then I'll save it to UBAM independent consultant logo. Okay. Save onto my desktop. I normally put it in a folder. There's some weird, you know, I'm not connected to the internet at some point where I can't save things right now. I don't know tech stuff, but that's the way it goes. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to Canva. Okay. And um, it's taking a long time. All right. So where was, okay, here's where we were working, right? So I'm going to click on uploads and I want to upload my image. Okay, I saw, I see that it's downloaded. 
These are other images I've previously uploaded and they're saved right there so I don't have to do this every time. Okay, UBAM IC logo. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to see it right there. Okay, cool. And see, this is really neat too, this little whoop, doo -doo, doo, almost done. Awesome. And then when it's done, okay, I can just take it. So now it's always going to be in Canva right there waiting for me. Okay. And then I'm going to go, yay. Okay. So this is not a great image, okay, but it does serve the purpose of showing you, you know, showing you some stuff. So um, play around with it. That's the best thing you can do so, to get used to it, okay? And then I'm going to down. this really is a bad image, whatever. Download Image for Web. If you're just going to use it on your Facebook page, Image for Web is great. Hold tight, preparing your design. If you do use something that costs a dollar, um, or costs, you know, maybe you use two or three elements and you're going to spend two or three dollars, then this is where it would prompt you to pay. Okay, okay, so I can see it right here. All right, zero seconds left, so I'm going to, so it's, I've downloaded it. I'm going to click show in folder, and this is, you know, your personal preference, um, and then when I see it there, I'm going to cut and move it to my Esborn folder because this is going to be a really great graphic. Okay, so um, that's it. That is how you use Canva. PicMonkey is a little different. This one, um, I'm, I'm leaning towards Canva. I personally, when I, you know, make a lot of graphics, I'll kind of, I'll do something in Canva because it's really easy, and then I'll save it, and then maybe I'll open it up in PicMonkey where I have some other things. But, um, but play around, have fun. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much. Bye.